what brought you back to Ljubljana this time? At this time I work with end one and I'm coming here for a presentation and I try to bring end one in Romania. Do you know anything about Slovenian basketball? I know here in Ljubljana I have a very good basketball school. You have uh, one yeah. of the best uh, basketball school in Europe. And uh, when I play last time here, I still remember you have the best basketball fans. Yes. Responsible you didn't for come to sign contract with Olympia. Oh, I wish I can play basketball, but my basketball career is end, uh -huh. like a player. What brought you to, uh, to the end? Because you were only 30, 31 when you ended? No, yes, I have, uh, I have uh, two back surgeries. Uh -huh. After first back surgery, I I play uh, another year uh, for New Jersey Nets and for uh, Portis after that. And I go back in the United States after three years and I get another back surgery and that's it. So, if you recollect your NBA career, how would you describe it? Attacks, if I go back again, I can do better. But I'm very pleased with whatever I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. I do the best. I do the best I can, and I'm uh, more than pleased. I uh, I go one time in playoff. I uh, win the most improved player. I uh, what else? I win the field goal percentage. Hey, what else I can win? The chair, right? <laughs> and the MVP. The one I don't. I regret, but uh, I don't have it. I do. I never play for the All Star game. Mm -hmm. But hey man, I don't expect to do uh, anything what I do, and I'm very pleased. And uh, like you also made really successful career career in the movie in the movie as well. It was good. It was good experience. It was good money at the same time too. <laughs> yes, hey, that is true. Uh, playing basketball all your life, and one day uh, figure out you have for three months another job. And so things uh, was kind of boring for me because all day just waiting and waiting and waiting. But at the same time, was pretty in the end, it was like, was pretty pleased. Do you have any contacts with Romanian basketball? Uh, I have very good contacts with a couple of teams in basketball in Romania. I still, uh, I still in touch with the federations, but I'm not involved in uh, Romanian basketball that much. But uh, you were some like manager of national team. Uh, I was I was for uh, two months, uh -huh. and I figured out there was not that many people who I can work with, mm -hmm. and I have to give away to take my job on uh, Washington Wizards. Mm -hmm. So um, some words about your personal life. You started to work with N1, but where do you live? Uh, I live in uh, Washington. Most of the time I live in Washington, uh, Washington, D.C. With your family? Yes, with my family. My kids go to school there and uh, my wife lives there with me too. In my position to be an NBA, you have to understand, they are uh, 300 players in the NBA. And these 300 players can come for any country in the world. It's NBA is open for everybody in the world. Uh, to be in an in in NBA team, you have to be the best of the best, right? But right now, to be in an Arab basketball team, you have to be the best of the best too. And if you cannot make these kind of teams, you have to go to the school to be a good man, a good citizen, and to be a good education person. I read in one interview that you really like watching Sacramento Kings. And I used to watch Sacramento when Chris Webber was right there when they go in the final. In the, I think they was in the Easter final one time. They have a very nice, uh, very nice basketball team play. Okay, they play was a good, nice pass. And they. Uh, at that time I like that team. I'm not a fan of one player, but I'm not a fan of one team. I like teams who play nice and we play together. Which teams? Which teams now? 
<laughs> right now, I like a lot. I still like a lot. Uh, uh, jazz. They they play pretty cool. I like a lot New Orleans. How uh, they they play very exciting. Uh, I used to like a little bit Phoenix uh, Suns. How they uh, they they play the transition and uh, passes too. I like to pass a lot of ball. And uh, do you think that European basketball is getting closer to America, <laughs> or is it towards? I think European basketball after uh, '92 when they have the Olympics in Barcelona. After their Olympics, I think so, uh, European basketball grew a lot, and still growing European basketball. I think it's still growing. Before you said that you have uh, contacts with Romanian clubs, is there any chance that you will bring any Romanian player to Slovenia? I don't know. In Slovenia, they have very good basketball, too. very good basketball school too. In Romania, we have to grow a lot, and we have to learn a lot of basketball. And uh, are a couple of young players, but I wish we have uh, half of the young players you have here in Slovenia. We have in Romania, but uh, Romania right now they are uh, they still have a lot to learn to do. The coaches and everything. But who knows? Maybe one day you want to play for Romania going to be here in Slovenia. Hopefully as tall as you. Sometimes it's good to lose to win next year. And in basketball, all the time you have two shots. Right? If you get four one time, you get the two shots. But you have to use that two shots in a good way. <laughs>